We follow Fuka's directions and head for the exit. Along the way, I decide to pick up on our discussion on Sho's true character. Mitsuru, back to what we were talking about earlier. It looked like Sho changed right in front of us. He switched personalities. What makes you think that it's not the ordinary form of split personality? Do you recall the conversation in the limo about Ikutsuki's personal experiments? I said there was an indication that a plume of dust was used. You mean the human experimentation we were talking about? That's definitely something a guy like Ikutsuki would have come up with. What if Ikutsuki's experiments on Minazuki involved transplanting a plume of dust into a living person? What? Why would he do something like that? Considering that it could have been part of Ergo Research's attempts to create artificial persona users, it makes sense. It's most likely that Ikutsuki implanted a plume of dust into Minazuki in order to intentionally try to force a persona to appear. But Sho Minazuki didn't awaken to the persona ability. That much can be gathered from the fact that Ikutsuki labeled the experiment a failure. That bastard performed terrible experiments on young children or for his own gain, and he called this a failure? Ikutsuki put something strange inside a living person and simply wrote off what he did as failure. That only proves how innate, insane he has been. Contrary to Ikutsuki's expectations though, the experiment had a different result. What? Oh, don't tell me. Hmm. If a plume of dust was implanted into the body of a person who already had a personality, what would happen? A plume of dust stimulates the creation of an ego. So it's not out of the question that it would create a new personality in the same body. In other words, it wasn't split personalities in Sho's minds, but two completely different entities in the same body. The original Sho, and the personality that was created when the plume of dust was put inside him, that now calls itself just Minazuki. According to the records, after the operation, Minazuki entered a vegetative state after some time. Thus, Ikutsuki let go of Minazuki. He was then transported to a hospital in the suburbs of Inaba, and there are no records of Minazuki from there on. What happened from that point on, I can only speculate. But I wonder what sort of life Minazuki led after he regained consciousness. Mitsuru's expression softens. Even if Minazuki was created by Ikutsuki, this is just one last way that Ikutsuki's ghost still haunts us. Ikutsuki's research only followed similar experiments created by the Kurijo group. Shows passes, as Mitsuru describes, then he is yet another victim of the Kurijo group, not just an enemy to be defeated. Not long after we pass through the main entranceway, we see a path leading to the school's main gates, which are painted in a strange pattern. Beyond that, nothing but red fog. There's no telling what state the town is right now. Lavra said that she wanted to speak with Minazuki. And now, so do I. We'd better rescue Yukiko's group and get back here then. Indeed. Let us accomplish our duties with haste. There's no point in denying that Kirijo is partly responsible for this series of cases. The truth won't change, and it's obvious that this is weighing heavily on Mitsuru's shoulders, since she is the head of the Kirijo group now. That's why I believe I truly understand how Mitsuru felt when she made the choice to step back from front lines earlier and trust in her comrades. That's how it should be. Our teammates are all reliable people who will follow our lead. Fuka, what's Yukiko's position? Um, I sense something southeast of there. Please be careful. As Fuka's communication cuts out, the school building behind us makes a groaning sound. It's so loud now. I get the feeling that there isn't a lot of time left. Mitsuru and I nod to each other before we begin running towards town. One of the problems I have is, wouldn't the uh, characters have just, you know, figured out the whole plume of dust thing? Like, not white. Yeah. You would have thought they would have um, figured it out by now. Okay, so that's leading into Labris. Okay. So yeah, um, as I originally said, it is gonna, it's going to be Lapras is the uh, main Persona 3 character, I suppose? Yeah, that is, that's long. That's a long, so that's probably... Yeah, there's no other branching off points. I suppose it could get created, though, so... Um, I guess I'm going to do Labris next, because... Uh, 
it's you know it's before so you know what I mean but that's that's not very long though so I might do Labrys then I'll do Mitsuru and then Labrys again if it is Labrys that continues so we're gonna go do uh, the world of me let's do this with Labrys I don't know why I included that with when I said that but this uh, shall be exciting hopefully <laughs> hopefully <laughs> Ooh, hey. the five of us had been entrusted with pursuing Shokun and we are proceeding towards the top of the tower. All these these are mistakes, though. It's hard to read sometimes. Anyway, how many floors have we climbed already? The sorted hallways and classrooms appear at every turn. And there's no sign of us reaching the end. Quakes are growing more and more frequent. I guess this means the time is running out. You know that Nazuki guy talked about making his world, but how is he going to do that? If we presume he's following in Akutsuki's footsteps, then he's going to gather shadows, merge them, and summon some great power. You mean that thing the Nazuki-kun was talking about? What do you think, Junpei? I mean, you've been surprisingly quiet. Are you not feeling well? Huh? Nah, I'm fine. Coaches are well-trained, you know. I guess it's just that I'm feeling all tense. All this end-of-the-world stuff isn't anything to joke about. I've got people waiting for me. Like the kids have a game coming up next week, so there's no way I can lose here. Stupe's being serious for once. Looks like he's grown up a bit. I guess I should learn from his example. <laughs> Junpei has leveled up. You don't want the world to end either, do you, Labby-chan? You just woke up after all. I gotta admit, I really like him saying that. Yeah, I don't want to lose this world after I've met everyone. I gotta do my best. It goes again. Wait, didn't we see this classroom earlier? I feel like the fog's getting thicker too. It won't be good if this keeps up. Since we can't get a communication with Fukasan, we don't even know what's around us. No matter how far we go, the maze of the fake Yasugami High just keeps going and going and going. The visibility inside is getting worse as well, and we even have trouble seeing the floor at our feet. It's time to get flustered because we had no sense of progress after all this time. Come on, keep your cool. Getting all aggravated won't do us any good. You're so positive as always, Junpei-san. You think so? I think you've changed, though. You've gotten taller, too. Huh? Uh, why do you sound so relieved? Um, I've been wondering if I hadn't changed at all. I made a promise to Mitsuru-san that I'd live life like a child. What's that supposed to mean? Is that hard to do or something? It's difficult. I don't know what it's like to be a child, so I wasn't sure if I should keep doing what I've been doing. Huh. I guess being an adolescent boy is difficult. You should just live your life the way you are. I mean, you are a kid. That's right. You can't trust Mitsuru-senpai's idea of childhood. Can you even imagine what she was like when she was a kid? Whoa, you're right. I can't. It's impossible for common people like us. And if you want to see that, then play Persona 3 The Answer. You get a bit of that. <laughs> Speaking of children, that show dude is the perfect example of a spoiled brat. The one moment he's joking around, and the next he's incredibly pissed off. Yeah, what would someone have to go through in order to make them seriously consider destroying the world? What happened to him? When the topic shifted to Shokun, Koromaru-san passes us by and stops before one of the doors. What's up, Koromaru-san? Is there something bothering you about this classroom? When I approach the door that Koromaru-san is barking at, I see stairs leading up to a stairway inside the classroom. Hmm, who's it going to be? I'm sure that I wasn't the only one who was hoping this was the place. Jumbi sans quickly opens the door and we step inside. Aside from the staircase, the room seems like a normal classroom, used during daily life. Desks are lined up in rows and blackboard dominates the front wall. I remember mine yearning to live a life including places like this. Even at a time like this, I smirk a bit at myself and just as I'm about to follow everyone to the stairway. Ah, looks like you've made it all the way here. Now what to do? <gasps> You're General Teddy. We finally found you. General Teddy, the mastermind of this tournament. 
With this cape and fearless grin, Jin or Teddy is completely different from the real Teddy we encountered earlier. And even through the screen he has an ominous air about him. I check in with my senses just to be sure. And sure enough, he's a shadow. No, this isn't a normal shadow reading. What in the world is this? This is getting out of hand. So I, General Teddy, will face you myself. Now bring on the ring! When General Teddy lifts his little hand up, the red pillars with familiar with appear in the four corners of the classroom. The tension running through the area pushes away the feeling I had had a moment ago that something's wrong. In any case, I have to change my way of thinking and prepare for battle. Now it's time to have some fun. Those who hinder the creation of my world shall all perish here. Whoa, someone's got a big mouth. My world? <laughs> this has been our world from the start. We're not just going to let you destroy it that easily. Destroy? <laughs> I will not destroy it. This will be a new beginning. The beginning of a world of my own, where only I will live. Only you? What about Sho? This doesn't concern me. The vessel will soon be complete. Nothing, Nothing you, you can, can do, do at this point serves any purpose. We won't know that unless we try. Kodamaru! Like hell we're gonna let you start anything like that! Let's take this guy down and move on! Oh god, I, I'm not too sure who I want to be, actually. I know we were Ken recently, so I won't be Ken. I know what... Lab I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna be Labrys later, so... Yukari or Junpei, and they are on screen, so it makes sense. Uh, I want to be Junpei, but I feel like I was him recently, so let's be Yukari. 